A second element of the framework is that we receive personal revelation only within our purview and not within the prerogative of others. In other words, we take off and land in our appointed runway. The importance of well-defined runways was learned early in the history of the Restoration. Hiram Page, one of the eight witnesses to the Book of Mormon, claimed to be receiving revelations for the entire Church. Several members were deceived and wrongly influenced. In response, the Lord revealed that no one shall be appointed to receive commandments and revelations in this Church excepting my servant Joseph Smith until I shall appoint another in his stead. Doctrine, commandments, and revelations for the Church are the prerogative of the living prophet who receives them from the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the prophet's runway. Years ago, I received a phone call from an individual who had been arrested for trespassing. He told me it had been revealed to him that additional scripture was buried under the ground floor of a building he tried to enter. He claimed that once he obtained the additional scripture, he knew he had received the gift of translation, bring forth new scripture, and shape the doctrine and direction of the Church. I told him that he was mistaken, and he implored me to pray about it. I told him I wouldn't. He became verbally abusive and ended the phone call. I didn't need to pray about this request for one simple but profound reason. Only the prophet receives revelation for the Church. It would be contrary to the economy of God for others to receive such revelation which belongs on the prophet's runway. Personal revelation rightly belongs to individuals. You can receive revelation, for example, where to live, what career path to follow, or whom to marry. Church leaders may teach doctrine and share inspired counsel, but the responsibility for these decisions rests with you. That's your revelation to receive. That's your runway.